So I'm here at the Dearborn Development Center where Ford flew me down here to show off their latest safety technology, autonomous technology. Things like, well, cars that park themselves, cars that avoid accidents, and of course cars that know where the lane lines are. And all that fun stuff is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. All right, so I am in the brand new Ford Fusion with three other journalists and I'm sorry, your name Nick. is? Nick, Nick who's with Ford and we're here at Ford's test track in Dearborn, Michigan. Say hi guys. Hi. That's Jill and Tim back there. <laughs> and uh, we're kind of checking out Ford's technology, specifically their kind of adaptive cruise control at this point. Now, now I've been in cars equipped with this technology and the one little fly in the ointment that I found is if you've got the distance set too far, people keep pulling in front of you and pulling in front of you and you're kind of, yeah. especially if you're in traffic, you're kind of moving backwards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so it's nice to be able to be relatively close. Obviously on the open highway, it doesn't really matter. Now the speedometer says 120. Will it work up to 120? Supposedly. Yeah? Yes. We tried? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, what fun is that? Now that would be a cool video, 120 miles an hour in adaptive cruise control. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your buddy to speed up a little bit. Tell him, no, you're not going to do it, huh? I'm, I tried, guys. I really tried. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Look at that. It's, it's, it's turning the car. No hands. How long will it do that before it stops? Oh, right there. They only do it a couple times and then it's going to basically. All right, and this is what the uh, Ford test track looks like. And uh, there is the control dashboard, so you can see what's happening. Once again, it's found the line, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let go of the wheel, and it's going to just go right across. <laughs> All right, it did vibrate the wheel that time, so it did tell me that, and there's a car in front of us, so I better be more careful. Yeah, it's pretty cool technology. I mean, it's one step toward an autonomous car. So basically, if you were to activate both the uh, proximity distance control and this feature, at some point you can let the car sort of kind of drive itself until it would stop, until it turned itself off, right? Sort of. Sort of, kind of, yeah. yeah. I'm going to show you rear-end collision avoidance. Rear-end means you are driving in your own lane, and then you have a maybe a slow-moving vehicle in your own path or maybe a stationary vehicle in your own path and then you are driving still towards the object because of whatever reason you are not reacting that there is a slow moving vehicle and then the system will give you a vibrating gas pedal that means without knowing a co-passenger you get the alert it's like a silent alert if so if, there, if there's a rear seat passenger like me they don't know that that you may be are about to hit a car that's why you're getting the vibrating pedal is that yeah, but, right but that, that that one they give it a bit early that okay. you still have uh, because Some time to react yeah because the the the, the purpose of the warning uh, de is designed like that you can take over the control of okay. the vehicle then what happens next yeah and and then you get the acoustic warning then you should have to react if you still do not react it will give you an lead warning in, here in, in the windshield and if you still do not react then the vehicle will take over the control by acting on the steering and the brakes and will do the collision avoidance maneuver for you and will make you safe and will give you the handover of this and it will show you on which side he takes it and it will give you also the message what is happening. So let's drive at 60 km per hour. Okay, it's gonna be a little violent, right? We're gonna try to ram that car ahead of us. So that's a rear end collision avoidance. We have successfully avoided. So Brian here, uh, let me tell you, there's a there's a strikeable target. This is in front of us. It's a four-inch foam, very lightweight, uh, strikeable target. But it has the same radar reflectivity as a standard mid-sized vehicle that you'd see out there uh, on the road. Go ahead, Brian. And what we're going to uh, simulate is a 
person driving home from work or something that perhaps distracted and comes up on a slower moving vehicle. Perhaps there's a traffic slowdown or backup. And the system is looking for two things. One, are we about to hit something? And two, have I done anything about it? And if it sees that, it will warn you. And in plenty of time for the driver to brake, then avoid the collision, and um, make sure that um, the person is warned in plenty of time to avoid the collision. And Would the car brake itself if you didn't apply the brakes? No, and this, this is a purely a warning system that's available in production today, and that was our intent to sort of show, sort of show you what's in production and then sort of what's coming. And uh, this system allows the, uh, this system warns and, you know, has the driver do the brake. Oh, you have to admit that's some pretty cool technology, especially like the one where the car avoids hitting the other car all by itself. I mean, it's driving itself, which is pretty, uh, okay, never mind. I think I like driving cars too much to have them drive themselves. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching. And remember, come back for a new video every day. Ciao. I got to get inside. It is way cold.